everyone, Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. I had some interesting data out in Australia today, third quarter inflation data. The headline number came in at 3%. The market expectation was 3.1, so not very different there. It was a drop from the previous quarter, which was 3.7, so dropping to 3%. But these are the two highest numbers for Australia's inflation, headline inflation in quite some time. Uh, interestingly, the quarter on quarter number was the same as Q2. So Q2 saw a rise of 0.8% in the headline inflation number. Q3 saw a 0.8% rise as well. Um, so very persistent, strong headline inflation. And even more worrying was the core uh, inflation number that the Reserve Bank likes to focus on. Uh, and that moved up from 1.8 to 2.1%. So that was an acceleration. And it was an acceleration in core inflation into the Reserve Bank's own target range, which we could all argue is rather arbitrary in the first place, but it is certainly a move into their 2 to 3% core inflation target range, which makes one wonder why they still have a policy of keeping interest rates at crisis levels, historically crisis levels, uh, when inflation is clearly on the rise and already in their own target zone. Things have to be changing at the Reserve Bank very soon indeed. In response, the Australian dollars had a little bit of a rally and to be honest, that's really quite an exaggeration because we're probably looking my forecast is the Reserve Bank doesn't know it yet, but it will be raising rates in 2022, that's next year, uh, as will the Fed. So the Federal Reserve probably raise rates in the first half of next year, which will put again added pressure to either replace the Reserve Bank Board or on the current Reserve Bank Board to take some action in the second half of the year, if not sooner. So interest rates are definitely going up, but just coming back to the currency, they won't be going up in a major way and they probably will be going up in a delay after the US dollar. So to buy Australian dollars on the idea that the Fed will eventually, sorry, the RBA will eventually have to raise interest rates is probably getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. At the same time, if that story becomes a meme story, uh, then anything can happen in any market, of course. But I do think probably the Australian dollar just got a little bit overly excited on that inflationary figure for the day. We saw some volatility in the Australian stock market uh, and that volatility is starting to settle now, but we're still seeing this attitude of Australian Fed fund managers that they just keep buying. Uh, and a lot of buying would have occurred today in the Australian market because people saw that the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ were up just a few points each. Uh, but that sounded like they were strong. It was a, a record close for the Dow but it wasn't a record high for the Dow by any means. Um, basically during the day in New York trading, markets went a lot higher than that and had a very sharp sort of rejection of those new highs on the day. So we're seeing markets close on the daily charts uh, and zooming in there a little bit in a way that looks just a touch ominous on the day for US futures. And I don't think the Australian market has fully absorbed that point as yet. So again, I think the Australian stock market looks a little bit toppy here. And the US stock market is really due for some sort of downward correction. Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. Thank you very much.